what is going on guys go here today we're back in the farms in 22 so today we're heading to the shop real quick because we've got to get the old dirty max in the trailer because we've got to go pick up a oh I'm gonna get the wobbles up in here pick up a Ford truck yes we got another one now we sold I'm um, basically the Ram and the uh, the Chevy and everything like that so we've sold two of our trucks that we've had and of course we got the uh, got the new one and everything over there so we're gonna go pick up another truck for a lot now this is a special truck now this one's gonna be a little bit more expensive um, it's actually a special edition so let's go ahead and get this truck here started up absolutely love this thing I think it's probably like my favorite like probably truck that we've been driving lately I'm um, not like all my other ones, but it's, it's just super clean. That's the thing. It's just really super clean. Let's go ahead and back it up and grab the trailer. All right, and of course, it's like extremely tall. All right, so we're going to grab this and we're going to go pick, go to the shop and grab uh, our, our new truck. It is a Ford. And I don't know, for some reason, like, Fords and Chevys, like, I always, I always, I'll, uh, I always get, but I'm a Dodge fan, that's okay, because I like everything, and plus this truck is special edition, now it is a 6x6 Ford, I think it's like an F450, if I'm not mistaken, it's on Air Ride, it's a monster, it is an absolute unit, so we're gonna pick it up, um, hopefully this truck hauls it pretty good, because it's a pretty heavy truck, we're going to pick it up and take it to the shop. We're going to do a couple things to it. Um, the, the nickname for a truck was Overkill. Uh, that's what it said on the paperwork. So we're going to put an Overkill front like grill plate on it. And we're also going to put a, uh, a chrome wrap on it. And I actually ordered uh, tracks for it. So it, when we sell this thing, it's, it, it's going to be a pretty penny. It'll probably be the most expensive truck we've ever sold. Um, just because you know it is a six by six, and it's like a, a new style Ford. So we thought that twenty, uh, that twenty two Ford we had was going to be expensive. No, this thing's going to be more expensive. Um, I'm looking for. Looks like that parking lot there's full. Let's pull over here. I got to find out where it is. We we'll have to go and get the paperwork and everything. I'm gonna hit a crap shit. There we go. There we go. All right, let's go get the paperwork. Don't know. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, it, it's, the bed's like super long gone. We should be able to put some kind of side by side in it. All right, so I got the paperwork, got the keys. Let's go look at this bad boy. Oh my gosh. Now you're probably saying, <laughs> you're probably not saying that, but you're probably saying this thing is low to the ground. Well, I mean, true, but I did say it's air ride. Is that if? Oh, it's F550, my bad. I thought it was a it's F550. Oh my gosh. Now, we are going to wrap it chrome. I think it'll just look a whole lot better. Uh, like, wrapped in chrome. Look at this thing just sitting on the ground. Wrapped in chrome. It came with, a, basically, it's ready to haul a side-by-side -side or something. Like a limo golf cart. Hmm. That'd be pretty cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. Alright, I need to find out how we raise it. Uh, okay, here we go. Check that out. Oh, it actually raises it pretty good. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's at my head. That's about, yeah, it's over my head. So, I mean, look at that. That is a monster. All right, let's go ahead and jump in it, and we're going to go put it on the trailer. I love the, like, carbon fiber, the overkill. This thing is so nice. Could you imagine using this as, like, a pulling truck? I mean, your trailer, look how, your trailer will be way back there. That is insane. You can haul like a golf cart plus a trailer with this thing. The ultimate camping truck. Now, unfortunately, we're going to sell it. I, well, even if it's on my trailer, we're going to sell it because we have no use for a truck this big because it's just too long for us to, you know, get around and pull and everything. Plus, it's way too much money. All right, now, do we, are we going to lock it? Look at that. Back wheels are off the ground. Oh my gosh, this thing is an absolute monster. All right, that's right there. I want to go ahead and, like, sit it down. 
Oh snap, hit the switches. <laughs> that is awesome. Alright, now I have noticed, I guess when it goes up, the wheels go frontwards a little bit, and when you raise it up, it goes back. So, okay, that's cool. Alright, let's go ahead and buckle this bad boy down. I, the, the, it, it was, it was going to be close with the trailer. Now, I'm hoping we can close the ramps. Perfect, no problem. Look at that. That, that literally takes up our whole entire trailer. Oh, my God. All right, the old Dirty Max, she's, she's ready to rock and roll. Uh, I think it might back out here. I feel like it should be the best bet. All right, now let's head to the shop, and we are going to put a wrap in the, on this thing, and we're also going to put tracks on it. And do I need to take it to the off-road park? I think so. I want to see how good, like, tracks actually work or how good they do on the rocks and everything. Oh, slow down. Now, if it was snow, it'd be wonderful. Like, I really want to keep this thing until, like, winter time so we have snow, but I just, I can't do it. We, we got to sell it. That's big money right there. All right, big money rolling in. We shouldn't even call it overkill. It needs to be called big money. <laughs> that's the next, oh, that's why we should call that big six-door mud truck big money. And also, unfortunately, the mud trucks or the monster trucks will be going this week, unfortunately. But it is what it is. We've got to enjoy it for a little bit. People stop, take pictures, and that always leads to customers and everything like that. So let's go ahead and pull us off. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, start it up. I just like it because the whole like raising up part. Look at that. Yeah, so the wheels do go back some when you raise it and everything. <laughs> oh gosh, this thing's a monster. I love how like like the front set, rear set was off the ground, but it's like, ah, we're good. My gosh. Alright, let's go ahead and get this truck and trailer out of the way. And I guess we can pull it over here. That's the good thing about having two entrances. I can block one and not have to worry about it or anything like that. Alright. Hopefully this truck will be going soon. Like could you tell me that truck right there with like the like these tires on. Could you imagine each set of those axles in the rear have dually tires like this? Oh my gosh. That thing would be a monster. Holy crap. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull it in a bay. Hopefully one of these bays are open. I don't even know if we have anything. No, we don't have anything in the shop yet. Alright. We'll get ready and rock and roll. Oh my gosh, this thing's huge. Now we are going to be putting a wrap on it. And we're going to put tracks on it. Now I'm I'm not going to... Uh, you know what? You can feel it trying to turn. But the back wheel is kind of just like... Especially when you go frontwards, the back wheel is kind of just push the front. Um, I'm not going to put it on a lift or anything. Because I really feel like it, it really wouldn't fit on the lift. This might be the longest truck. That's six door. I don't know if it was as long as this though. Or I don't know if this is as long as a six door. I feel like it's they're about the same. This truck being a six door with the the long like one hundred thousand foot bed would be insane. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get the wrap and everything. We're gonna slap it on. Um, it's chrome vinyl we're gonna be using. And then uh, I got a uh, plate that here says overkill. Kinda matches the overkill in here. I figured that would be pretty good as soon as I seen that. I was like, oh, I gotta get my buddy to CNC cut that. One day we are gonna have a CNC cutting machine. All right, well, let me go ahead and get the vinyl wrap out and everything. We're gonna wrap this bad boy. All right, so I got the uh, I got the the grill and everything. Um, basically, he made me one that had just the letters or one that had kind of the out cut on it. And I thought this would look a lot better, so I went ahead and uh, wrapped it too um, in the chrome. So it kind of all matches. I absolutely love this chrome. This is like a lot but it's awesome and i was sitting here working on this thing and you know i was up here and i was like da 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 and i was like wait a minute i can lower this truck down so i lowered the truck down it made life so much easier all right so we got this and everything so now we are going to actually put the tracks on which will probably make it even taller and then we are going to take it to the off-road park over there 
and probably scratch it up, but it's okay because it's theirs. Well, I mean, it's the bank's, but we're selling it for them. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and get these uh, tracks and everything on. I got the pallet around back. Um, I'll just use the tractor. All right, so I just had a, uh, we, we was working on the old overkill over there. I had a customer come by and uh, try this truck out. They absolutely love it. And they said they might be stopping back by tomorrow and trying to get and everything. I'm bad. Like, it's fine. We've got finances for you. Of course, we still make our money and the everything, uh, you know, and of course the bank makes extra money when they finance everything. So that's great on that. So we might be saying bye to this. I didn't even get to do anything to it. So that's always a plus. Um, but we got the tracks on this thing. Look at this monstrosity. Holy crap this thing is long it, it just is it, it's a crazy vehicle um absolutely love the tracks and everything um it just wow um so i'm thinking hang on let, let's put this up real fast all right hang on how tall is it right now of us just standing here let's just sit bed um so it's about what to air ear all right let's go ahead and raise it up tracks really didn't you know make it too as high as I thought it would so we got that let's raise it up and now it's what probably about a foot over our head if that so that's uh, that's some travel right there now I wish we had the uh, fold out steps and everything on this I mean we could always put it on there but I don't think we are so let's go ahead and take it down the road and see how good this thing does I think we're actually spinning there. Luckily, we do have lockers and everything for this, so that's always a plus. Now, I don't think these things are going to flex that much, but we're going to try. Oh my gosh, this thing's a monster! And it rides pretty decent with the tracks and everything. Of course, when we get back, we have to, you know, uh, put them back or I, I tighten everything up and everything. All right. Good, no rubbing. That's the good thing about when you lift it and everything. You don't have to worry about rubbing, really. Alright, we're going to try to lock everything in. Now, I don't really feel like... I'm not too confident on this truck to do good because of the length. I mean, that's a lot of underbelly right there. But the good thing is, you know, we do have... Well, I was going to say we have mill tracks to get us in case it's up in the air, but... Alright. Alright, so we are locked in. I need to lock them. Are we locked in? I, I'm not for sure if... Hang on, we might... Okay, I'm trying to make sure we're locked in. Okay, I think we are... Okay, we're not locked in at all now. Maybe air lockers ain't working. I'm not 100% sure. Uh oh, we might be stuck. We should have lockers. I don't know why they're not. Lo it's not locking in. Hang on, let's see. Are we good now? It might not be. Oh, you know what? I don't think it's actually realizing we have the middle set. Wow, that's the problem. That's... Okay, so... <laughs> well, if we didn't have middle tires, we probably wouldn't be going good. Okay, so... Wait a minute. Screw this. What, can we just do this? Hang on, we're going to break stuff today, but we're going to try not to break stuff today. But lower down what? Okay, well, that absolutely helped none. All right, so I think we might need to run and get our tractor and like put under here and try to lift it. I might have just, okay. Well, that's not good. I'm telling you, it's it's always something dag on it. All right, we got the, we got the old deer. Let's go pull out the Ford. I, I, to be honest, I had a little bit more expectation, but then, I mean, like how, how good is that truck actually gonna go, you know? I feel like it'd be really good for pulling and hauling and everything, but maybe not for off-roading. So that's kind of my bad. It definitely is my bad. Alright, so hopefully we can put this under here 
try to lift it and be good to go. Alright, let's not try to punch a hole in a very expensive tailgate. And let me boop, turn my old flash. Well, I guess I could turn the beacon on, but I don't really know how to be honest. <laughs> Alright, going down. Okay, that I need weight on this thing super bad. I really do need weight. This is awkward. Huh. Would you look at that right there? Would you just look at that? Um. Uh, yeah. So about this. You know, maybe if... Hmm. Okay, so I, I'm kind of out of ideals right here. Uh, now back it up. It's going to flop backward. Boof! All right, so what if we drive around here? I'll throw my tractor. That's always great. Right around right here, lift the front end up. We definitely gotta get weight for the back of this because it, it we're always doing that, and I never use the rear, so we definitely get some big weights for the back. All right, because the vehicles will be going to be heavy. All right. Try not to kill the suspension on it. Alright. I can... There we go, there we go. Now, if I can try... Oh, we're in a hole too. Turn this thing and maybe get it away from the rock. Okay. Perfect. We're on the rock now. I feel like that might do something. Give it the beans. No beans. There we go. All right, now back up. Oh, come on. Grab traction. Grab some traction. There we go. Anytime now. No, okay. Um, well, I <laughs> kind of lost here. What if we get back under here and lift it up? Act like we're lifting up. There's no way I'm gonna be able to actually get it up on there. Yeah, because the front wheels ain't even helping now. Heck on it. Why do I always get myself into these predictions? Wait a minute, I think we might be able to get it now. Okay, I think we're, are we out a little bit more? No, it went back down. Wait a minute, can I lift the back in? That's just gonna sink in the mud. Okay. We need a chain. I have no chains. We definitely need a chain. <laughs> All right, let's go around the front. Four hours later, you know. You know, sometimes I just cont I contemplate my life decisions, and this was not a good life decision. We may have scratched the wrap a little, a lot, and uh, we made a we may have scratched the suspension a little, a lot, and uh, my tractor definitely needs a lot of weights. So we've got the truck out. It's a no no good for flexing flex. Um, I'm pretty sure that was like kind of my bad. So I'm gonna leave my tractor here, take this truck, take it to the lot, and then um, you know, uh, you know, not destroy it and put it for sale. Hopefully somebody will buy it after I you know fix the scratches and wrap which is only the bumpers and everything so we're good and a little bit of the door and the suspension might be a little scratched this is spray paint and uh yeah other than that voila look at that big boy yeah america <laughs> it's going right in front here wow look at that ford and then versus this one Now this is not a newer style four. I think this is like about an 18 or something like that. I think uh, one of the differences I've seen was the headlights here has like the square, and then the new headlight. Because I don't know a lot about the Fords, but the new headlights they're they kind of got like this this style right there. Which I think literally, I mean, you could probably change out the headlights maybe and be the same. I don't know. I I, I don't know too much about the Fords or anything. 
but we have this big old monstrosity and it looks wonderful on air dealer and i want to go down here and grab the uh john deere so i hope everybody's having a blessed day if you could hit that like button always helps the channel out and i'll see you in the next one <laughs> america baby it always ends with me walking